All right, and uh, welcome to Tis the Season, Season 4, Fa La 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 Feud. Why don't we get to know our contestants that we have? Over here we have... Mrs. Weiser and the Three Wise Men. Jacob Urego. Nicholas Ryan. Kima Washington. All right, and over here we have... <laughs> Mrs. Brozig and Team Nice. Ali Heisey. Zach Sensenig. Ben Klinger. Well, what do you think? Should we get this party started? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! All right, come on in here. Come on in, our first contestants. Here we go, 100 people from the UK. We're polled. Name a way eggs are prepared that could also describe a per- Scrambled. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Scrambled is boiled. there. We'll go down here. Let's see what we have because we'll see who gets the points here anyway. Boiled. Boiled. All right. It's boiled up there. Okay. Poached. Right. Is poached up there. All right. Name away eggs are prepared that could also describe a person. Hot. Okay. Hot eggs. <laughs> Hot eggs. Okay. Okay. So what do we have over here? Fried. They're going with fried. Are there fried eggs? There are. All right. So slide those points on over. And let's see what we missed. Slide those points on over. There we go. All right. So. Here we go. Let's see what the fifth one was. What was the fifth one? Sunny, Sunny side oh. up. Oh. 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 What was number three? What do we have for number three? Over oh, easy. Oh, yeah. yeah, over easy. Yeah. Yes. And what about number two? Hard boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, let's try the second one. Here we go. Next person, come on Come on, down. Jacob. Come on down. Let's see what we have here. All right. 100 nuns. 100 nuns were pulled. Name something that has the word super in it. Superman. Superman. Is Superman up there? It is. It is. All right. So here we go. Down the line. Name something that has the word super in it. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Oh, that is there. Here we go. Over to you. Name something that has the word super in it. Superb. 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 Oh, oh. close. What was it? <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Superstar. Superstar. The superstar up there. It is. Ooh, here we go. What do you think? Some super car. Supercar. Supercar? Okay. All right, that's two strikes. Here we go. Name something with the word super in it. Super fan. Super fan? Oh, okay. So let's see what they got. Is it, do you think it's okay if it's a whole word? Or does it have to be? Oh, superstars is a whole word. Superstars one yeah. word. All right, you want to say superstition? superstition. Right. Mr. Marzak, we're going with superstition. They're going with superstition. Is superstition. Oh. Oh. So the points do head over to them. All right, let's see what we missed. Number five. Super. Oh. 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 Number four. Superintendent! Oh. 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 And number three, Super. Oh. 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 it is a close game. Close game. All right, let's get the next people on up. There we go. Let's see what we have. All right, 100 firefighters were pulled. Name a movie monster you think could take Dracula in a fight. Frankenstein? Alright, is Frankenstein up there? It oh. is. Alright, so uh, you do uh, get one guess here. Let's see if you can top him. Um, a werewolf. A werewolf. A werewolf. It is up there, but theirs is still higher, so it is going over to them. Okay. All right, here we go. Name a movie monster you think 
could take Dracula in a fight? Godzilla. He's going with Godzilla. Of course. Yeah. That is correct. That's a good one. Godzilla is up there. All right, here we go. A movie monster. A movie, a movie monster you think could take Dracula in a fight? Um, alien. Mm. Alien. Alien. Oh. Oh. Name a movie monster you think could take Dracula in a fight? King Kong. Going with King Kong. Oh, okay, here we go. A movie monster you think could take Dracula in a fight? A zombie? A zombie? That's two, start thinking ahead over there to steal, here we go. A movie monster you think could take Dracula in a fight? A giant? A giant. Not bad. Okay, this could be for the steal. Let's see. Predator? Predator. Is a predator there? Oh, no. So the points do head over to the wise man with Mrs. Wiser. However, let's see what number six was. Jesus. Oh. Number five. Oh, no. Freddy. Oh. Freddy. Oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next people, come on down. Let's see. Yeah. Come on, Let's go. Go. Got that. All right. One hundred failed presidential candidates were old. If Batman went broke, he would just might have to sell his bat. What? Mobile. Mobile. He wants to sell his bat mobile. That is Good job. Let's go, Kimo. All right. They slid that in. That is correct. So, if wow. Batman went broke, he just might have to sell his bat what? Bat phone. Bat phone. What? Oh. All right. Batman went broke. He just might have to sell his bat cave. Bat cave. Yes, yes, okay. Batman goes broke. He just might have to sell his bat. Um, his bat wing? His bat wing. Oh, Isn't that that's what the plane's two. Plane's called. All right. And Batman went broke. He just might have to sell his bat. Card. Bat card? Bat card? <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. Yeah. Oh, it a movie. Okay, taking it over to you guys. All right, his bet. I think we go bat suit. They're going with bat suit. Oh, it is not there. So slide the points on over. All right, let's see. Number five. Bat plane. All right, what about number four? Bat cycle. Oh, no, bad, like, I was thinking like that. All right, and, uh, 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 and number three, the bat copter, because no one uses it anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is the last one. You can do it. Last one. What up, Chad? Last one. So 100 Child Protective Service workers were called. If a man ran out of deodorant, name a fruit he might rub under his armpits to hide the odor. An orange. There's an orange up there. It oh. is. Okay. All right. So here goes. If a man ran out of deodorant, name a fruit he might rub under his armpits. Lemon. A lemon. There's a lemon up there. It is. Ooh, all right. You run out of deodorant. What are you putting under there? Banana. A banana. <laughs> a banana. Yeah. It's there. It's there. All right. You're stuck. You run out of deodorant. All you have is fruit. What are you putting there? A mango. A mango. A mango. Oh, all right. So what fruit are you rubbing in your armpits? Grapefruit. A grapefruit. What? OK. 
Okay, that's two. Start pondering ahead to steal the points. Here we go. What do you think? A fruit that you would rub on your armpits to get the smell away. Mm. Um, an apple. An apple? Oh, an smell. apple is there. An apple is there. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what fruit are you rubbing under your armpits other than the banana you said before? <laughs> a lime. A lime! All right! Okay. okay. All right. We're down to two more. Let's the list is getting effort. smaller and smaller. What are we thinking? A tomato. A tomato. Oh. It is a fruit. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. oh, all right. This is the steal. To steal those points. Okay. Mr. Marzok, we're going to go with a peach. They're going with peach! Oh, oh. so the points head over to this side, which takes our score to 284 to 182. However, that was the last round of beans. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. We'll see you when we start round two.